What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WDYD CSP. What do you do as a central store processor? All right, guys, let me walk you through building a load in your electronic system here. All right, guys, so we're going to go into sterilizer number one here. <clears throat> as you can see on my tracking system, all my sterilizer names are um, sectioned off, and then every load that's done is um, highlighted there. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new load. The parameter that I'm running is a 270 430. So you want to make sure you're on the right parameter here. You're going to go ahead and hit next. On the next screen, it is your load summary screen. This is where you're going to scan all the items on your load and it should appear on the description right there in the bottom. So let's go ahead and go to our load here. As you can see, this is a mixed load. I have rigid containers, I have wrapped items, and I have peel packs. <clears throat> peel packs are to stand on end. Paper to plastic, you want to make sure that it's not too tight or congested on there. You want to check your rigid containers to make sure that all the locks are present, that the filters are in place, that the correct parameters are chosen on each uh, package, and of course you want to check both sides is the right type indicator tape there is there visual space between all your items all right you don't want your items stacking or um, up against each other even though this um, container system does allow for stacking um, we don't do it because we have the space to do it right so we're gonna go ahead and scan all of our items and I, I hate that I have to say this but when you scan scan one row at a time okay so go ahead and scan across all right make sure that it scans okay i'm going to put this down to scan the peel pass because i wouldn't have been able to do that with one hand so <clears throat> i scanned all my items now and now i counted them out and i have 31 items but as you can see i have a red warning on my load content Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look and there is an item on there that does not belong. All right. So there is a specific item that has a different parameter than the one I chose. And I know exactly which one it is here. It is this culprit right here. So this one is a 27450 cycle. I cannot put it in a 27430 cycle. We're going to go ahead and put him on the shelf. Unnecessary movement of items here. <clears throat> you want to handle your items as less as possible. But that's fine. We're going to go ahead and just take him out. We're going to go into our tracking system. We're going to go ahead and highlight that item and hit the X to remove it. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Take it out. Now, my original count was 31. It should be now 30. And that is correct. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. For the test that we do for load releases, we just place a chemical indicator in there. So I'm going to go ahead and check that off because chemical indicator is placed. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And this is my summary screen right before I put it into the sterilizer. So this is telling me everything that's in that load. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and put a load control sticker, a load sticker on every package in there, right? Okay, you don't want to throw that in there without putting this on here, even though you can if you have a tracking system, guys. All right, it has been stated that you do not necessarily need a load control sticker on all your packages if you have a low a tracking system that allows you to track your package. All right, but it's always good practice to use your load stickers. All right, I tell people do not place the load stickers over the type one indicators. All right, put them all to the side, but do not put them on the blue either because the inside of your sterilizer is going to look like a passport. There's going to be stickers all over the place. All right, so place it on something that the load sticker is going to stick on pretty well on peel packs. The same thing. Don't put them around the, the, the seal of the pack and don't place it on over the sticker. <clears throat> so that you can't read what's on that load sticker you want to put it only on the plastic side not on the paper side of the uh, peel pack all right so into the sterilizer we go make sure that nothing's hitting the side 
Okay, this is a crank style um, rack, so we're gonna go ahead and crank it down until it's flush. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove our um, rail. We're gonna go ahead and close our door here. Alrighty. Lock it up there. Good, good, good. And again, it was a 270, 430 cycle right there. And then the printout will start coming out and you wanna go ahead and initial the top of the printout because I just started this load. So bear with me here for a second here. <clears throat> All right, guys, there you go. My initials on it now. Unfortunately, my sterilizers are not integrated with the tracking system quite yet. So it's not gonna automatically start or confirm that the load has been started. I have to manually do that. When it's integrated, it would do it automatically. All right, and that's it, guys. That is how you start a sterilization load in an automatic system. All right, guys, as always, stay true to yourselves. Keep it 100. Continue educating yourself. Till next time, peace.